Now that you've gone in and set up your post approval email, it's time to create a post for approval. If you haven't already learned how to create a post, be sure to learn how to create a single post so that way you can see how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the planner. And again, we'll just go right in here to marketing. We're gonna go into open planner. I like to schedule all of my posts here. So I'm just gonna come down here to a date and we're just gonna say, we're gonna go here. I'm just selecting one post. Let's go ahead and add our image. Let's just say March Madness and we're gonna leave it there. So here's my post. You're gonna see this little arrow right here when you click on it. What you wanna do is send the post for approval. Who's approving the post? You already set up your email. When you click send post for approval, check it out. You'll say, I wanna post it on this day. So you'll send, it, it'll see right here, it's sending this day, this time. And then right here, you're gonna select the approver. That's going to be the other team member that's inside of your software. So you wanna make sure that you've got the right person having access to be able to approve inside so you can see who is going to approve this post. I'm gonna go ahead and select the team email. What we're gonna do is we're gonna schedule and send for approval. Let's just say this is a 2 p.m. post. We'll go ahead and hit schedule. We've got it scheduled for the 28th. We scheduled it for 2 p.m. And selecting the approver, you wanna make sure that the team member or the user is inside the system to be able to get their email for approval. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit approval. If I wanna add a note, please review. Let's just say, please review before the 28th. Great example. This is a holiday post. You must approve it or it's not gonna get posted. Things that are date specific, I love adding a note. We're gonna go ahead and hit schedule and send for approval. And you'll see inside of your calendar, it's going to have this little purple icon right in here. And in that little purple icon, you're gonna see that it's waiting, but it's scheduled for two, it's ready to go. So what happens in the email? So let's go ahead and check our email. And when you check your email, you're gonna see this awesome request for post approval and look what happened. You created that awesome email in the previous video. So now you've got your email and look what happens. The customer is notified, here's the instructions. We'll see it inside, go into your account. So you can see they got the email, now they can go access their account. And when they come into their account, they're gonna come in here and they can either go to what? The calendar or just show them how easy it is to go into the dashboard and to select the tab that says approval. And you'll see we've got one pending approval. I like to say go here first because what if you have 10 or 15 posts that you've done? They're in there. They're going to approve them. They'll be in there. They can do it all at once. Make their life easy. So you can see this one is pending. It's scheduled for the two o'clock on the 28th. It's reviewed by Post Composer, and which is me because I'm in here. And you're going to see these three dots and you'll see these social channels. All we have to do is click on these three dots. We can edit it, clone it, or delete it. What we want to do is approve it, right? We need to go in here and look at it and approve it. Now, I set that one up for myself. I'm going to log in as this person so you can see what their screen looks like. So let's go ahead and log in. And when I log in as the person that you are looking who's doing the actual approving, you'll come over here to the approval and you'll see that it's pending right here. The posts are pending. So when you click on it, you will see a view, approve, or reject. If you are logged in as the person approving it, you can easily view the post, approve it, or reject it. If you're logged in as you and you are the person who's doing it, you'll only see the edit, clone, and the delete. If they want to select view, look at this. They can see what it looks like right here and click approve, call it a day. If they're like, you know what? I really want to change up this wording on something. They can go ahead and view it. And let's say they want to go ahead and edit it and everything looks good. 
it's all scheduled and ready to go. Let's go ahead and save our edit. Once it's saved, then they can come over here and then click, boom, approve. Or they can select reject, which says, I don't want to do this. So if I select reject, I can add a note, reject, and there it is. Let's go into filled, and you'll see right here, filled, rejected by this person, and you'll see this post was rejected. They didn't like it. So that'll show up in your failed. If they don't like it, you're going to see it inside the failed as a failed and who rejected it. Very easy. If it's been approved, you'll see it as approved or pending. In this particular case, we would approve it. And, it, and when it's shown approve, it's approved and ready to go. So I'm going to log in. Let's go ahead and log in. And as I log in, we're going to go ahead and see I have a pending approval here. And again, I can view, approve, or reject. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and say view. And I'm going to say, okay, let's go ahead and edit this. I want it for maybe a different date. What would happen is if they didn't like this post, they would want to reject it. And if they reject it, give them a reason, change the date. No, that's not the date of our profile. Let's go into failed. You can see, nope, this isn't it. Let's go ahead and clone it and go ahead and schedule the post for a different day. So you could see send post for approval, or they could just approve it themselves and edit for the different day. So the date and time does not work. You have to clone the post, but you can hit schedule post. You don't have to resend it for approval because everything in the post is done. Now you can schedule this for the day that you would like, and go ahead and hit schedule. And then you can see that it's scheduled to post on that day. So again, you can't edit the date in the approval process. So it's going to be really important to go ahead and reject it, let it show up in draft, then clone it, and then change that date. But other than that, going into the approval process to approve that post is going to be really easy to click approve and move on. Hopefully that little quick tip helped. We'll see if there's a way we can change that date soon. But for now, if you do have to change a promotional date that you're posting, just reject it. It'll show up in your failed post. All you've got to do is clone it, fix the date, and schedule the post. It's done. Easy as pie. Other approvals, it's going to be ready to go. Boom, boom. Christmas, Easter, holiday. If you messed up on the date, again, all you got to do is go ahead and clone it. And if you clone it, you can reschedule that as well. So there's a couple of ways that you can do if it hasn't already been sent off for approval or if you're doing it yourself. And you can see right here, I am the approver. So what I want to do is go ahead and approve this for March 28th. So when I click on approve, it's going to say, once you approve the post, it'll get scheduled for publishing. I posted this for the 28th a few days out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit approve. And guess what? Now you're going to see it gone from the approval. You'll see schedule post. You'll see that it's got the awesome time frame in it. And let's go ahead and go to the planner because I am a drag and drop kind of girl. I can see it right here planned and scheduled to go out to these profiles. You can see the little clock right here. It's a little clock. You can see the one that was canceled with a red X. You can see green that it was posted. So look for these little symbols. And you saw the hourglass, meaning it was what? Waiting for approval. Of course, at any time you don't like a post, what I love about the calendar, and we talk about this in the single post setting, but remember, I'm a drag and drop kind of girl. If I want to move this to a different date, I can certainly drag and drop and reschedule it. I can also basically see that this one was here and it's done. Now remember, it's really hard to delete a post once it's been scheduled or rejected, but this gives you a good report of what's going on with the account. So you don't want to really go in and delete it, but let's just say I wanted to clone it. And if I wanted to delete it from here, I could go in and delete the post here. So I can go ahead and select delete post. I don't want that clone post. But we do want to know which ones failed, which ones were rejected. So you don't want to delete those as you can see that you can't. But you can easily delete something that's already been scheduled or it is scheduled and approved. But you really want to be able to see, is your customer rejecting a lot of posts? Maybe you're not doing a good job. 
Maybe you need to work on your dates. Maybe you need to schedule or post more relevant information. So as an SMMA agency, as an agency, it's really important to look at the failed post because if your customer is rejecting a lot of your posts, what are you doing wrong? Are you scheduling it for the wrong times? Do they not like your content? Is it not working for you guys? That's what I love to look at. Was it something that they scheduled and they changed their mind? So you really want to keep an eye out on failed posts and approved posts so you can keep an eye on how happy your awesome customers are. Now, if you're utilizing somebody on your team, it's important to be able to come through here and see the failed posts, the approved posts, what's working, what's not, what did we reject, what kind of content are we rejecting. It's a great training tool for whoever's doing your social media marketing to see if this was just an error or is it something that we do just want to clone? Did we repost this later? But what I love about this is you can actually see from a bird's eye view what's going on with all your recent posts, your scheduled posts, your failed posts, what's in draft, and guess what needs to be approved, what's waiting on approval. And that's how you create an approval process for your post. You want to be able to send the post approval to the person who needs to approve the post. And don't forget, as an agency, you want to make sure that you are logging in as the customer to make sure that they can see the approved or deny. Because on your side of the screen, when you're doing the social media posting, it's not going to see the approval process. You'll only be able to edit it, clone it, or delete it. So you want to make sure that you log in as that customer. And once they approve it, you will get notified because you'll be listed as the person who is doing it. But you want to make sure that you're logged into the right account to view and make sure that they see how to approve it, deny it, make any changes and whatnot, because you won't be able to do that because you actually scheduled the post. So as an SMMA agency, if you're scheduling the post for your customers, you're not going to see the approved or deny here because it's going to be within their account. So you can easily log in as that particular customer. I really recommend keeping what's going on in each account separate than just having some main account that you're loading up tons of social media to and then posting. It's so much easier to manage per account. So that way you can go in and select that account that you're doing social media posts for, create the post, and you are good to go. So once you create it, then they can approve it and you can see it all from within that customer's account. So I really recommend managing each sub account on a separate level as an SMMA agency versus trying to use a main account and scheduling all of your social posts out there. So just a quick recap on how the social post works. When you create a new post, the person that's going in will come in. They'll create some really cool, awesome post. They'll select their image. They will select something here. Let's just say we'll use this one. Want to use the image. Let's just go back to the image that we had and we'll do a comment. All you got to do is send post for approval. Be sure to select the date and time of the post. Have that all ready to go. Then you're going to select the person who needs to approve the post, add any special notes, select schedule and send for approval. Then what will happen is your customer will log into their account. They will get an email notification, that awesome email that you set up earlier. And when they log into their account and they go into the approval section, they're going to see that, hey, this one's pending. I need to look at this. There's a little hourglass. And then I can view it, approve it, or reject it. And all I've got to do is click view. If I like what I see, I can click the approve button. If I don't like what I can see, I can hit the reject button. If I want to change something, I can select edit, make my changes, save my edits, and then go ahead and click approve. Now, one of the great things is using the note to communicate. So if you're communicating with your social media manager that's working for you, we want to make sure that you give them the reasons. Maybe you just want them to change something or maybe you want them to look at something. It's going to be really important that you add those notes, especially to give them warnings of the date specific posts. So that way they can see that there is a note related 
There are two ways that you can submit a post approval. One is using a single post, whether you're opening up your planner and you're coming in here and you're saying, okay, I'd like to schedule that post. This is where you can submit that post approval request, or you can do it by sending bulk request approvals. So bulk request is really cool because instead of just doing one by one, if you're adding that bulk CSV, let me show you how this would work. You would just select the bulk CSV. Let's go ahead and upload a sample file. And you see me talking a lot about using bulk CSVs. I use them a lot because it really makes it easier for the customer to approve in bulk or for your manager to improve in bulk. So what I do is once I import this and my CSV file is imported, when I click next, look what happens. I can select my account, but right here I can send for approval and select that approver. So when I upload the CSV, it's so easy. They can get all of these posts, they'll get notified, go approve these posts and all of the posts whether I did 10, 20, 30, or 40 posts, they will all show up under the approval as pending. And they can easily go through and just click approve, approve, and be done. So there's two ways. You can do it by single post. And then, of course, you can do it by the CSV bulk post. If you haven't seen the CSV bulk posting, be sure to check that out. We provide lots of tips and tricks, and we really recommend doing this, especially if you're uploading a lot of things that you want a prover to do, they can go in and do that one time and be done with it. As an SMMA marketer or agency, if you're doing this and you're providing those 40 posts or whatever, however many posts a month, I really recommend utilizing the CSV that way that your customer can approve it when they get in the system. The main thing to remember as an agency is bulk CSV uploading is great. But just remember when you log into your agency, if you are in that account and you select the three dots, you won't see the view, approve, reject. You will only see the edit, clone, or delete option. So if you're confused when you log in, all you need to do is make sure that you go log in as that customer. So log in as the approver and you will see the view, approve, and reject. Remember, you have access to all of your sub accounts. So you will only see edit, clone, and delete. So I always recommend jumping in, logging in as that approver to show them what it looks like to basically be able to view, approve, or reject that post. So those are my couple quick tips for you as a social media marketing manager. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you learned how to do your post approval flow inside the social manager. Happy posting, whether you're doing it for a single post to get approved or whether you're doing it for bulk posts, we've got you covered inside of your social planner. If you haven't set up your email for the post approver, be sure to watch that video so that way you can set up that email so your approver can be notified whether you do the single post or the bulk post. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.